At Bronco Boom Tech, we're really into gadgets and gizmos such as micro projectors. So here with me today is Seth Porges, who's the tech editor at Popular Mechanics Magazine. Yeah, so micro projectors, these things have been out for a couple years now. A lot of people think of them as stodgy businessman tools for traveling salesmen. It's actually a lot of fun you can have with them, such as setting up a wireless video projection system. So what we're doing is we're taking this 3M micro projector. These are these tiny projectors that we've seen come out over the past couple years. And using no power cords at all, we're gonna wirelessly stream videos, movies, YouTube, Hulu, whatever, first from a computer, then we're gonna do it from an iPad. And what's super cool is that we don't need any wires. Instead of using an internet hookup, we're gonna mm -hmm. use a Sprint 3G, 4G mobile hotspot. Mm -hmm. So we can literally walk around the city, pull videos from the internet, pump them through the computer iPad, and project them onto any wall we want. Very cool. So why don't, let's start with this this yes. little guy. How does this work exactly? So this is a Sprint Overdrive, they call it. It's a 3G slash 4G mobile hotspot. Mobile hotspots are devices that pull the that pull the cellular signal from the air. The same thing that goes to your cell phone and then pump it back out again as a Wi-Fi signal. Okay, so we have this. Yes. And then how does that connect to our computers? So this pumps out a Wi-Fi signal. Your computer can then log onto the Wi-Fi like you would any Wi-Fi mm -hmm. signal. And then you connect the computer to the micro projector. Mm -hmm. And all of these things are battery powered. That's the best part. Every single one of these is battery powered, so you don't need a power plug. How far away do you think that you could um, clearly project something? So could I be 20 feet away? Yeah, if you're in a really dark room with a nice white wall, you could probably project across the room and have a really big, decent sized display. The quality of the projection is directly related to how dark the room is and how white the wall is. How does this 3M projector connect to the laptop. So basically, this is a MacBook. So you need mm -hmm. Apple's connection, which hooks up to any VGA cord. The VGA cord actually comes with the projector, pumps right into the projector itself, streams out the video. Can you give me some of the specs or the details on this projector? This uses an LED bulb in order to project, and it has a battery in it, lasts about an hour and a half, and has 150 lumens. This is more than previous generation projectors, which weren't quite as bright. So we started out with a computer, and now we're going to something a little more portable. Yeah. iPad. What's really cool about tablets like the iPad, of course, is just how portable they are. You don't need to open them. If you're walking around the city projecting things, much easier to carry this around. Apple doesn't make it very easy for you to project out from it, though. You have to really tinker with the settings. You plug this projector into this, whatever's on the screen will not pop up on the projector. In order to project things out, basically the specific program has to be set to work with external displays. But what does work with the external display are videos you buy at the iTunes store and YouTube. Show me how this works. So basically what you do is you have to take what's called an Apple Universal Adapter, which plugs into the dock on an iPad or an iPhone. This will actually also work with an iPhone if you want. You take the Apple Universal Adapter that basically connects to a composite connection. And that's the old yellow, red, white connection that old TVs have. Using the yellow connection, you then connect to the cord that comes with the projector, which goes into the VGA jack on the projector. And this basically takes the video, goes it through all these cords, goes out the projector. Seems simple enough. It is. So I showed you guys how to set this up. What I'd be really interested in is what your viewers end up actually doing with it. What crazy places they project things, what crazy things they project, what crazy kind of gorilla art installations they put up using micro projectors. Really psyched to see what can happen. If you've got any cool ideas or doing something interesting with a micro projector, make sure to send an email our way to rbtech at rocketboom.com. I'm Ellie Roundtree, and this has been Rocketboom Tech.